Chapter 9, Lesson 2, Area of Triangles. Figures that are the same shape and size are congruent figures. Two congruent triangles can be formed to make a parallelogram. Congruent triangles have the same area, so the area of a triangle is one-half the area of a parallelogram. So we know that the area of a parallelogram is base times height. And since a triangle makes up half of a parallelogram, the area for a triangle is base times height divided by 2, or 1 half base times height. Example 1, find the area of the triangle. So to find the area of a triangle, we have to do base times height divided by 2. So the base of the triangle is 1, 2, 3, 4, five, six units. And the height of the triangle is one, two, three, four, five, six units also. Remember, we can't use the slanted line as our height because it's not perpendicular from the base. So we have area equals the base is six times the height is also six, which equals 36. And now we have to divide 36 by two. That gives us 18 units squared. Example two, find the area of the triangle. Area equals base times height divided by two. So the base of this triangle is 14 times the height of the triangle is 18 because that's our perpendicular height. So first we have to do 14 times 18. So eight times four gives us 32. Eight times one is eight plus three is 11. Add a zero. One times four is four and one times one is one. This gives us 252. So now, to find the total area, we have to do 252 divided by 2 because we're finding the area of a triangle. So the area of this triangle is 126 meters squared. Try this one yourself to check for understanding. Find the missing dimension of the triangle. So in this problem, we're given the area and we're given the base, but we're missing the height. So first, let's set up our formula. Area equals base times height divided by two. And now let's fill in any given information. So we know that the area is 224 inches squared equal to, the base is 32, times h, which we still don't know, divided by two. So we can solve for h using inverse operations. So the first thing we wanna do is get rid of our fraction on the right side of the equal sign. We can do this by multiplying by two to both sides so that we could cancel out these twos. So now we have 224 times two. which gives us 448 equals, and now what's left over here is 32 times h. Now to get h by itself, we can divide both sides by 32 so that these cancel out. We're left with h equals 
Now we have to do 448 divided by 32. This is 1. And this is 4. So h is equal to 14. So the missing dimension of the height is 14 inches. And this is not squared because this is a dimension, not the area. Try this one yourself to check for understanding.